Hello guys, welcome back to all about structural analysis and uh, design. In our previous video, we have seen the nominal mix and design mix and uh, what are its advantages and disadvantages. In today's video, we will go through what are the objectives and factors influencing concrete mix design. But before moving on to objectives, just we will have a look on what is concrete mix design. It is defined as the appropriate selection and proportioning of constituents to produce a concrete with predefined characteristics in the fresh and hardened state. So here the words appropriate selection and proportioning of constituents are very important in concrete mix design. In nominal mix we have seen whatever was available on site we used to take those materials and with the predefined proportions we used to mix those materials and the concreting work used to carry out. But in concrete mix design, we have to select the materials first, test all the material uh, and uh, then arrive at a proportion which will have a concrete all the characteristics in the fresh and hardened state. So it is a detailed procedure uh, which will ensure a concrete with uh, good characteristics in both fresh and hardened state. So what are the objectives of concrete mix design? To find a combination of uh, materials which will have all good characteristics of concrete also to have desired properties of concrete in fresh and hardened state and also to have a proportion which will result in economical concrete so, so we have seen in the nominal mix the materials were overused but in this concrete mix design everything un will be in under control the usage of cement fine aggregates coarse aggregates so there will not be not be any wastage of uh, the raw material so we can have a good economical concrete so what are the factors influencing the concrete mix design so the first one is compressive strength so the concrete itself is known by its concre uh, compressive strength the usual primary requirement of good concrete is a satisfactory compressive strength in its hardened state Many of the desirable properties like durability, impermeability and also abrasion resistance are highly influenced by the strength of concrete. So the identity of concrete is compressive strength. If a concrete mix designer is designing for M30 concrete, he has to get the uh, result of 30 Newton per M square at the end of 28 days of curing uh, to have a good concrete of M30 grade. So then next is uh, workability. Workability can be described as a collective term to include all the essential properties of concrete in plastic conditions. So there are four states that is compactability, stability, mobility and finishability. Compactability is the property representing the ease with which the concrete is compacted by expelling the air voids. Stability is the property of concrete which resists segregation of uh, ingredients in transit or during compaction. Mobility is a property which determines the ease with which concrete can flow around the reinforcement. And finishability is the property which helps to provide a smooth surface on the concrete. So workability depends upon the application of concrete. So if you are using a concrete for highly congested reinforcement, then you have to have the high workability uh, concrete and uh, if you are using the concrete for mass concreting purpose then you can have a low workability there are uh, various types which we can uh, measure workability that is uh, slump test uh, vb consistometer then uh, compaction factor tests and so on so the next factor uh, is influencing is type size and uh, grading of aggregates the good concrete can be made by using uh, different types of aggregates which are irregular gravels and crushed rock which is mostly angular in shape. The maximum nominal size of the aggregate to be selected for a particular job depends upon the width of a section and also the spacing of reinforcement. The grading of aggregate is a major factor influencing the workability of a concrete mix. The grading of the aggregate should be such as to ensure that the voids between the larger aggregates are filled with smaller fractions and uh, mortar as to achieve maximum density and strength. So grading plays a very important role to have a 
कॉन्क्रीट विथ मैगजिम डेंसिटी एंड स्ट्रेंथ एंड द लास्ट फैक्टर विच इन्फ्लुएंसेज द कॉन्क्रीट मिक्स डिजाइन इज द ड्यूरेबिलिटी द ड्यूरेबिलिटी कैन बी डिफाइंड एज द कैपेबिलिटी ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट टू रेजिस्ट वेदरिंग एक्शन केमिकल अटैक एंड अब्रेजन वाइल मेंटेनिंग इट्स डिजायर्ड इंजीनियरिंग प्रॉपर्टीज वाइल डिजाइनिंग ए कॉन्क्रीट वी कम अक्रॉस द एक्सपोजर कंडीशन द एक्सपोजर कंडीशन इज टेकन केयर to have a good check on durability so if we consider the concrete mix design with the exposure condition then we can have a good concrete uh, with respect to the durability so these were the some of the factors influencing the concrete mix design in my next video i will be coming up with the concrete mix design uh, the detailed procedure as per is 10262 uh, code so you can uh, share this video and also you can subscribe to my channel for uh, the uh, upcoming uh, videos on this uh, concrete mix design thank you guys